What's up guys, where have I been here? Uh, back with today War Thunder. Uh, a new uh, April Fool's event has come out. I know it's already been April Fool's, but I guess it was worth the wait. It was an extra day or two, I think, but this is the Mad Max event in War Thunder. Uh, um, Mad Thunder. Essentially, I guess this is supposed to be like for like the new Mad Max that's going to be coming out. Not sure when. You look at, look that up, but uh, yeah, you got new. We've got um, basically vehicles that are in the game, but they've been modified, and you have to go around collecting parts to get assemble them so you can get upgrades, uh, things to look for like more parts or to scatter enemies, better vehicles. Yeah, it's a very interesting. Thing. But uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and let's do this. Also, another thing to point out is that there is team mode and free for all mode. I prefer to do team mode because at least there are people there that you can have help you than just dying. But, uh, let's get into this by using the Echidna solid version. So, basically, more armor, but less stuff to carry. Because what the objective is here, if you see on the map, what you basically have to do is go to all those will be circled areas and just drive over parts and collect them, and then you have to head to the exit thing you see to get head to those to collect the stuff. Because if you die, then you don't get anything. And that's how you do the event, you just gotta collect stuff. Depending on the vehicles, you can carry more or less stuff, but uh, yeah. Alright, let's see. So it's hiding in certain stuff. So there's nothing in those, okay. Wait, 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 that's a lot of stuff. Ah. There, all right, there we go. Some scrap metal. Now there's like all sorts of stuff. There's scrap metal, fuel, just a variety of stuff, and that stuff helps you to like get upgrades to build, assemble things. I also have a kill meter up there, and it will also show your flag, your kills. All right, so so far we've collected. And lo enough stuff we've maxed out on collecting stuff so now we just gotta hit the, the exit drop it all off and then it will be ours and then spawn in the next vehicle without dying of course and try to maybe get a kill although I'm not gonna risk it because I don't want to fully risk it because the uh, <laughs> You die, you lose, because basically if you die, you lose everything. And that's something you don't want to do. Oh. Now, also, when it gets like to, to the seven or six minute mark, there's a massive sandstorm, so it makes it harder to see. And once you get to these extraction points, you no longer can use these vehicles, so we're just going to get in here and drop all our stuff off and spawn in the next vehicle. We can't spawn in that because it requires one kill. It's extraction done! Hmm. We'll go with the porcupine, and seeing as I've upgraded this one, we can get a flamethrower and armor. But we could. Yeah, we don't need the armor because this thing is just a little thing anyway. But we get a flamethrower. So. A really useful. And the little gun. So it's basically the Yestavar. But. Crazy looking. Oh, we found some stuff. from someone to start here. We'll just take that, thank you very much. Oh, we 
to carry one more thing. There we go. Oh, here comes a sandstorm. Oh, gotta run. Now, it won't do much. All it does, really, is make you make it harder to see the enemy and the enemy to see you. That's the only thing it really does. Apart from that, it's pretty much harmless. Oh, yeah. sandstorm now, so it's going to be very hard to see. Well. Speaking of enemy. Well, let's get out of here quickly. I don't want to die. There are better things I want to do than die. Oh, we can spawn in that other vehicle now. So, that's a good thing. The flamethrower is very useful. And second vehicle with parts. Now to use the reptile. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Oh, someone has an armadillo. Nice. Another like tanks. A mule. That's the biggest truck. But yeah, I, what's interesting about this event is it's just taken vehicles that are in the game already, but they've modified them just in the most interesting ways to make them feel like they are in like a Mad Max movie, adding random like parts to them, making them look badass, adding gun, different weapons to them. Like this is an AA in Russia that has two guns that you see, like the one on the back. I see they've added one gun and the little machine gun turret. And you can also get like a rocket launcher next to the big gun in the upgrades, which is cool. We've just been driving around here and we've just already got some more parts. Seems like people are in trouble. Oh god. The enemy is not liking the fact that we are winning, or that their only objective is to make sure that we do not succeed. Oh, there's a mule. God, that's a big boy. Just look at that. So you can also, like, claim points from like dead enemy corpses. So sometimes you need the up you need an upgrade which can tell you which ones still have a death point. So you can get those, you don't have to kill people. Oh god, it's one minute. We gotta go. We, we don't need to worry about collecting stuff or kills anymore. We need to get there. Because if we don't, we die. That's the it's basically when the match ends. And also a sandstorm. So we need to go. We need to get out of here. Go, 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 go. Come on, you hunk of junk. Come on. 
50 seconds. 45 seconds. 40. <laughs> 35. 30. Come on, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. 25 seconds. 25 seconds on the clock. Yes! 15 seconds to spare. We're not going to spawn in, but... Whew, great job. Alright, so... This is what we've earned. We've got 21 scrap metal, 5 electronics, 26 vehicle parts, 2 rage tokens, which you get from kills, and 18 armor parts. So that means now, with those, we can build stuff. But still, some stuff require other things. Hmm, let's see. Um... Not a lot of things that I currently want to assemble. I want to get better stuff for some of these vehicles and some other things. Ooh, 40 kills required. You know, I'll assemble the smoke parts. So let's see, what do we, we need some, we need to get some more armor parts, okay? Armor parts needed. Alright, we're gonna go in the echidna again, due to just how efficient it is. We may not go in the solid echidna due to the, when you, the more, when you get, like, armored variants of the vehicle, it just means that you have less storage. Alright. God damn. Who the hell hit me? Really did a good job with this map. Maybe just a wasteland, but hey, that's kind of what Mad Max is. It's a wasteland full of vehicles and crazy. Ah, they're crazy. Dude. Looking for scrap. Oh, I saw I see scrap. Give me that scrap. But we need also armor. Now we need to get to the exit. We have a lot of stuff. Not armor, but it's okay. We can get that. Me and the boys, we out looking for scrap. <laughs> Looks like one of our teammates needed to. You're evil! You're evil! You're goddamn evil! You're a monster! Well, that didn't go as planned.
Alright, so essentially that happened. monster oh <laughs> you are a spot of Titan you evil master I had a lot of stuff and armor plating. Oh, God. So, yeah, they do give you the kill still at least, but. Uh... <laughs> that pisses me off. I was so close. I had the armor pieces. I like spawn. Camping bastard didn't kill me. You know, I should have gunned it. I should have not tried to shoot him. I should have just tried to get to the place. I got a cocky. And that's what got me killed. But uh, anyway, thank you everyone for watching. This has been an interesting event. And thank you everyone for watching. So, hope to see you all later. This is Weird Up Being Gaming signing out. Catch you later.